Why? Well, it's been four weeks in a row. I bet Mike wishes I would go back home. We're having so much fun. I just I said, Mike, here I, I want to show you how to break Excel. And first, I want Mike to show us his cool trick where he takes the tooltip from the formula and moves it. So, Mike, show us that. All right. Thanks, Mr. Excel. I'm going to put some uh, numbers right here. We'll put a bunch of twos, right? Control down arrow. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum, alt equals. And then I'm going to take this and just kind of drag it around. All right, so that's dragging, you know, because sometimes it gets in the way, right? And you're like, get out of here. Yeah. All right, let me just throw it over to Mr. Excel. Okay, so I learned that from Mike, right? I mean, that's one of those cool tricks. What else can you drag? I wondered. So we you know, have uh, some data here, and we go into data validation, and we say that this is going to allow, um, let's say, a whole number and uh, between 100 and 110. And then in our input message, we're going to add some instructions. Whole number. Enter a number between 100 and 110. All right, click OK. All right, now. When we go into that cell, tooltip pops up. When we go out of the cell, tooltip goes away. Did you know that you can take that tooltip and move it somewhere else? Right? Just like the formula bar, except the guy at Microsoft who's in charge of doing this clearly is not as smart as the guy that does the uh, formula tooltip because check this out. When we come over here now and add data validation, uh, we'll just add something, yada, 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 and something there. All right, and some settings here will allow a uh, decimal between 100 and 150. All right, click OK. Now, when I go into that cell, oh, whoops, they don't show the validation right where I put it. They show the validation back to where I dragged it. It becomes the de facto point for the validation all the time, even if the validation is like, you know, far, far away, it's always going to go back in that spot. So while you can take the, the formula tooltip and move it wherever you want, never ever do it with the validation because you've now broken the validation forever. <laughs> it's never going to work on this workbook again. So <laughs> How do you break Excel? there we go. This is the worst dueling podcast we've ever done. Next week, it'll be much, much better. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. Mike Kerbin from Excel is fun.